hello friends so uh, i'm going to explain you virtual server environment uh, using the these two virtual server dns and dsap we have numbers of client which are accessed uh, if you see to take the end devices from this i have selected this like this the end devices available with me uh, i have taken two server these are the generic servers which i plotted over here and i have taken the switches network devices switches uh, now everything is normal here that is click on pc go to desktop static it will remain blank this ip address desktop this ip address will be virtually accepted by this client from the virtual server which is dscp what is the use of dns i'll tell you in this video simultaneously now uh, i have actually uh, created two two server dns and dsp we will first work on dns domain name system click on it go to the desktop and ip configuration i have given the ip address that is 10.10.02 accordingly subnet mask will be appear automatically default gateway always one but according to the ip address 10.10.0.1 if the ip address is 20.20.0.2 then the default gateway will be 20.20.0.1 dns server dns server ip address is you know 10.10.0.2 i have provided i have done this configuration then click on server services in services select dns in dns what we have to do is we have to sir, put the service on if the service is off then the communication will not done over here we have to provide the name name of the website i have already given this name that is google.com and address for the system is 10.10.0.2 that is ip address of dns server there is virtual server which is dns virtually available in the network okay then click on save or add then i'll go to the dscp server in dscp server i how i done the configuration dscp server configuration ip address 10.10.0.3 over here in desktop i have to provide the ip address again 10.10.0.3 default subnet mask default gateway and the dns ip address that we know which is already provided 10.10.0.2 close this service and then go to the services dscp services over here we have to go to the dhcp when i click on dscp it will ask me for various services or various information it is default gateway the default gateway will 10.10.0.1 as all ip address are from class a only dns server ip address we know that it will ask you for start ip address right now we have taken two ip address that is 10.2 10.3 and 10.1 that is your default gateway apart from this ip addresses should be provided to this all client so how to do it so for that purpose we have they, they will ask me for start ip address so i have taken starting ip address is 5 10.0.0.5 subnet mask will be appear automatically maximum number of user how many users are available in my network or in virtual network so i have right now four users but then also i have taken number of user is 10 tftp server and uh, WLC address will remain blank. Click on this and click save or add. Chica, the, in previous way, in, in previously, this part will remain blank. We have to provide this information, which is already provided in the documentation part. I close this. Now, as we know that we have no IP address or the range of IP address, we don't have the IP address given to the particular pc that is pc3 it will create it or access virtually from dscp server how it is see this dscp it will request ip address it will start from 5 then go to the pc number 2 desktop click on desktop ip address click on static or uh, dscp it will the request will be successful ip address is 6 again for same click on dscp it will take seven and for this click on desktop ip configuration dscp and 10 in between 5 to 10 
uh, from from the starting IP address is 5 to 10 it will be accepted this many IP addresses using this virtualization DHCP server it will not duplicate the IP addresses virtually it will accept all the IP addresses on individual system now the time for DNS in DNS we have given the name as google.com that is a website and the address is 10.10.0.2 we can access the website using IP address but it is better to know the name rather than remembering the IP address so in DNS <coughs> if we see in the configuration mode services okay in DNS we have this information available with us now what we have to do is go to the PC1 PC3 how it is how to check the scripting command right now I have some commands already run on this PC so I say the scripting command one scripting command is ping P -I -N -G, ping I'll add the address that is the what is the address of DNS server is 10.10.0.2 10.10.0.2 enter the reply is coming from the server that is virtually the system is available and it is the whatever request will be sent by the client it is accepted by this particular server now how the website will be displayed I'll click on the PC2 I'll go to the web browser in web browser we can add 10.10.0.2 enter we'll see the actual website or simultaneously if I go to the number third number PC we'll go to the web browser I type here www.google.com I enter the website will be displayed here so this is nothing but virtual communication or virtualization server using VLAN which is easier to understand and script now one more scripting in this we have four PC and two server I'll do the communication if you see I'll tra transfer this packet from this server to this the message is successful from this PC to this PC successful this PC to this PC message is successful I'll transfer the packet from this server to this server message is successful right now the message can be transmitted because it is a single network VLAN is available now I create one more scripting language in packet tracer using CLI mode CLI is nothing but command line mode so this is the switch is not unable I'll enable it for enabling EN press tab enter we are in configuration mode to do the configuration we use CONF con that is configure T tab terminal enter so to see how many VLAN are available command is show V LAN enter uh, just a minute okay mm, exit exit from this we have to remain in the same mode and type the command show VLAN enter you can see there is only one ID and one default VLAN available and all our port are available in the single default ID now we have to create the new ID or new VLAN so control X new mode config conf tab press tab, press the tab t again press t tab configure terminal over here we have to create a new vlan so how to create it the command is first is vlan space 2 id2 enter right now we, we are in vlan mode 2 new one provide the name that is any name space say xyz i'll give the name xyz XYZ name is created. We write the exit from here. X, Z, exit, actual mode. Then show VLAN. This is a scripting what we are doing. In previous section, we have only one default ID, one VLAN. Right now, we have ID number two and XYZ, which which is active, but they don't have any port. So how to activate that particular port? Again, Control X. Go to conf t configure terminal the command is i'll give you the right direct command to do it 
so first of all as we have the port available every port have a link that is fa 0 slash c 3 0 slash 2 for this client 0 slash 1 for this client 0 slash 4 for this client and for 0 slash 5 for dns and 0 slash 6 for dscp so we will do the configuration mode we will take 0 slash 3 2 and the dsc uh, in dns server this three part in one virtual network and this three part in another virtual network how to do it this is a scripting language what we are doing okay on virtual servers okay or scripting servers uh, the command is say uh, interface interface inter press tab interface range 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 for 0, 03 and 0, 02. I want 0, 03 and 0, 02 in one virtual line. So range FA, FA is nothing but fast Ethernet, 0 slash 3 space hyphen space again FA, press tab 0 slash 2, enter. This is the range of this PC and this PC. We want one more range. So I'll just come out of this particular loop that is say I'll provide the interface interface uh, interface we want 0 slash 5 as well for DNS server so interface fast ethernet interface FA 0 slash 5 enter and the command for this is we have to give the command for this range as well we just forgot. I'll give you the command. Switch mode. Switch port mode. Mode access. Enter. And another command for the same is switch port. Switch port access. VLAN space 2. That is provide the access for VLAN 2 enter access is done we have to give the range again yes. exit interface range interface range fa zero fast ethernet zero slash three space hyphen space fa tab zero slash 2 enter again the same command switch port mode access switch port mode access enter and the another command is switch port access switch port access vlan v vlan space 2 enter uh, something missing switch port access vlan 2 we have done the spelling mistake over here v l a n vlan space 2 enter we have done with our switch port vlan configuration and command exit come out of this now as you know we can able to transmit the packet from this PC to this now if you see it is in progress it is failed if you see this packet can be traveling to this but in progress it cannot transmit it I'll go to this this PC to this PC it is possible this PC this server to this server it is successful again from this server to this PC it is transmitted